everyone, and welcome back to a very special LEGO review, guys. This is going to be on a Kuzo set, or now called LEGO Ideas. The set we have, guys, is the LEGO Exo Suit. It's numbers 21109. It's ages 12 plus and has 321 pieces. Its uh, price is going to be $35, so $34.99 in the U.S. And I must say, right now, guys, if you don't have one, you need one. I'm not saying you should want one. I, I'm saying you should need one. Um, because this set is so awesome in so many ways. This is far... This beats out the DeLorean Time Machine, the Ghostbusters set, the Minecraft set. This beats out every other um, Lego Ideas or Kuzo uh, set we've ever gotten. And there's a lot of reasons behind it. This is almost a perfect set. Actually, it is a perfect set. And, um, you know, just within the first minute, guys, of watching this review, I'm telling you right now, that this is a set you should definitely get. You're not going to regret it. I promise you. And this is a set that is just so genuine in so many ways, especially to old-time LEGO collectors. This is going to really uh, be an ultimate thing to have for you. Alright guys, without ado, let's get into why you should buy this set in the first place. And the first thing we're going to do is, of course, check out the cool exclusive minifigures to this set. So the first up uh, figure we have is, uh, his name's Pete. Um... So what Lego has done is uh, done a the class um, the classic space uh, logo right here. Um, Lego uh, released a, a space theme that was went on for years back in 1978. It was one of the most popular themes of the um, of that time for Lego. So uh, they bring they're bringing it back onto this set, and it's really awesome. I know a lot of adult uh, fans of Lego uh, called AFOLs. They are going to absolutely just mind blow over this set. I'm mind blowing over this set, and I never even had any of the original space sets when I was a kid. So this is just a great set for me personally, uh, but I'm sure everybody's going to get a kick out of it one way or another. But anyhow, the uh, the space guy here, he's all green. They've never made a, a green space guy back in the, uh, in the 80s of the space theme. So this is a really cool tribute to them. Uh, you get a green backpack. Take the helmet off, and uh, here's the face. The face has been used in, I believe, uh, an Ninjago set. So it isn't new or exclusive to the set, but this torso and the whole green um, outfit of the space dude is exclusive. So very cool. And of course, you got to have that classic space logo. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this logo before because it's so recognizable to Lego. Especially on those of you who saw the Lego movie, uh, Benny the... 1980s something space guy was based off that theme and so is this uh, this is also based off that theme as well so I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with Benny those of you kids out there so this is similar to him so pretty cool so this is uh, Pete alright next we have Eve and her name is spelled Y-V-E uh, interesting way of spelling it but um, that's that's how the box says um, kinda unique actually so same exact figure, the only difference is a different head, so it's a female head. And it's uh, neither head is uh, double-sided. Um, so, here's something a lot of you probably didn't know um, up until now about these two space people, uh, or space marines, or uh, astronauts, whatever you want to call them. Um, Pete and Eve. Peter um, designed, this was a fan-made set obviously from the Kuzo uh, project, the beta testing of the Kuzo, which is now Lego Ideas. It's an official thing Lego does now, which is really cool. But anyhow, Peter um, was the uh, original person who submitted the design of Kuzo, got 5,000 votes, and it was submitted to Lego. Lego accepted it. Here's the cool thing. Peter got his own name on the space figure, and Eve is his wife. In reality, he is married to um, his wife Eve, so it's actually a married couple. So it's kind of cute, actually. I'm, I'm sure a lot of you didn't know that. 
Um, so that that's kind of a cool fun fact about the set. It has a lot of uh, sentimental value, I guess you could say. Especially, I, I'm sure these two guys, uh, they live over in the UK. I'm sure they're really, this is quite a cool tribute. You know, have your names on a Lego set. I mean, that would be a cool thing if that ever happened to me. But anyhow, um, so that's that's kind of a cool thing. And then, uh, of course, Eve has the uh, walkie-talkie as well. There's only one. I um, just wanted to point that out. Now, the next thing, before we get to the exosuit, is this cool little mech turtle. Yeah, it's a turtle. Like, how cool is that? Um, this is uh, this is actually part of the original design submitted on Cusa with the exoset. Uh, a lot of people didn't think this was going to be included in the set, so it was a really big surprise when they announced the official design of the set and they released this as, along with the containers and the green minifigures. Big surprise to every everybody about that. Anyhow, he's got these uh, cool little turrets on the top. They can you know move around or whatever. Um, so that's kind of cool, and legs move and stuff. And his head moves up and down. He's he's kind of like R two D two. It's so simple, yet you can get such a cool personality off of him. I love that type of stuff where it's like Pixar. It's like you can have such simple characters but get so much personality out of them. Um, that is what this kind of turtle kind of um, I guess brings to mind to me uh, is he's simple. He looks cool, yet you can put a funny personality on him. So I really like that. Really unique. So put him back. Um, guys, if you wouldn't mind, I don't know what to call my turtle. So if you guys have a cool name, leave it down below. And no, I'm not going to name it off the no, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Do not leave a name of them below. Anyhow, um, another thing you get is this uh, kind of like docking bay stand thing. You get two of these uh, container bins. There's no printing on them. Um, but they're here. A little cool little stand. Um, just adds to the set. You know, got a whole bunch of... Uh, these pieces, I think it's new to this year, this piece specifically, so it's nice for collectors. Um, but yeah, so a simple little docking bay looks nice. It does its job. It looks great. Blends in perfectly with the set, so it does its job. All right, you've been waiting for this. Let's get to the actual exosuit. So this is exciting. Here it is, the exosuit. Now, I'll be honest, um, this was a bit smaller than it looked in person, but just the amount of when when you take it up close, when you look it up close and you see all of this detail running around, running along the entire set, you're like, wow, this is really cool. I haven't really seen something like this in a Lego set before. Um, maybe something, you know, not really even close and technic, but this is quite a unique Lego set that you just don't see often from the company. Um, and the back looks awesome. The underside looks awesome. The top looks awesome. Any angle you look at this thing, it looks so cool looking. So um, here's some of the features. First of all, um, there's the cockpit right here. All you do is just open that up. This also moves, but I don't really suggest you moving it because uh, then it intervenes with uh, these two parts right here. So we can take our boy Pete. He just slides into there like that. And then this just goes over top like that, and voila. So now the exosuit has somebody in it. So that's cool. Um, so everything, almost everything is, uh, it moves in some sort of way. And what I mean by that is like this arm has a lot of play. You can move it around and do whatever you want. It can look really cool. This thing right here moves. Um, it's kind of just there. Um, there is a hack for it uh, because these two pieces tend to want to separate. So if you just take a kind of a Lego pen, like a lightsaber, cut it in half. Um, I know it's not really Lego, but if you fit it in there, then that solves the problem. And I did that for both sides. So technically, that's not part of the set, but you can check out Lego blogs for that little hack. But anyhow, the arm doesn't have as much uh, articulation, but that's fine. Uh, but the actual arm itself, you know, this is like a bionicle where you can just move it all around. It literally has the same kind of frame as a bionicle would have. By the way, bionicle is coming back in 2015, for those of you who didn't know. Um, Freaking Hero Factory was stupid. Um, but yeah, so, and the same thing goes for this arm. So you can just move it around and stuff. And this, of course, moves, and the arm does that. 
And uh, as for the claws, they're on each side. It looks kind of like five fingers. Same kind of concept. So the claws can kind of close like that. And they can open really big. Like that. So that's really cool. So that means you can grab our bucket over here, or container, and claw it up. And it stays. So, and it has a good grip too. So if he wants to just, you know, throw whoosh, the uh, container at another exosuit or aliens or whatever he's fighting, he can most certainly do so. So really cool. That's the arms. Moving on to the legs. Um, the legs have a lot of articulation as well. Now I want to point out something first is you see this kind of tube thing on the back. This actually connects into the legs like so. So that means the pipe follows wherever the leg goes. And so that means you're not totally limited because it kind of goes everywhere. But I just thought I'd mention that. But anyhow, so as you can see, there's an articulation here. There is an articulation right here at the knee. That's the kneecap and you can kind of do all of that. And then there's an articulation at the bottom. So there's three articulations on just the leg itself. There's two on the arm. And uh, so if you multiply that, you're going to have 10 different articulations combining both feet and both arms. So that's really cool. So 10 articulations means you have a lot. And I mean a lot of play. So let's take these guys out. And I'll show you what I mean. Let's take our little bucket out, bring it back later, open the arms out. So, you know, we can have him kind of like cheering, like, yeah, let's go. Bring it on, baby. Um, or, you know, can do some more action type stuff. We can make him run, and he does actually kind of stand up. So, now to make him run, bit difficult you gotta get the articulation and balance just right so like that that looks really cool actually especially if I put it at an angle it looks even cooler um, so yeah you can see that you just can have a lot of fun with this you can kinda just you know if he wants to do his push-ups he can most certainly do his push-ups um, it's really quite cool to be honest. This is, you know, it's just as playable as a Bionicle and all of these, you know, you see all these tiny parts and a lot of building to this set and you think, oh, it's all going to break off. Absolutely not. They did an awesome job designing this set so that you can play it, uh, play with it as if it was a Bionicle or Hero Factory um, type of thing, but looks more Lego than ever. So this is extremely cool. Um, you know, it just, it's something so unique Lego really hasn't done. They basically com combined Lego parts with the Bionicle and created something so cool. And a an exosuit has been used in so many movie genres, Avatar, um, and, uh, Aliens, um, the movie back in the 80s. There's been plenty of exosuits, all at, even The Legend of Korra now, I think about it. There's been plenty of exosuits or similar type things that have been used in so many movie genres that it is really cool to see this come from Lego. Um, but it, it definitely, you know, it really can be cool. Oh, yeah, I think, let's see. Let's see if I can, like, get it to do that, kind of like put its hands together like I don't know like like that or something I'm just playing around with it see what I can do um, I don't know you can grab the turtle there you go and grab the turtle <laughs> looks kinda of funny anyhow you can just have a lot and I mean a lot of fun with this set I enjoy this like quite a bit and it is just so cool really really is um, you can have a lot of fun with it, and um, this is something anybody will enjoy. Now, here's the thing. This is actually a pretty difficult set to build because I actually messed up twice um, on different parts of the set um, because I thought some piece went there or something like that. 
Um, now, a lot of you can recall that I've been building Lego sets for years, and I mean like years, like seven, now probably ten years now I've been building Lego sets, and I've built a lot, like a lot. I've even built the Millennium Falcon and the Ultimate Collector's Millennium Falcon. I've built so many different Lego sets, and this was a set as small as it is, actually was kind of difficult to me. So that should really be telling you guys something. Um, that should, that's, my, my, that's my way of hinting to you that the, it is a challenge. isn't impossible, I guarantee you that. Um, they give you this little friend. This is actually really helpful on this set. I'll tell you that right now. Um, it really does help because you need to get those pins at the perfect angle and get it all to work. Um, but yeah, it's just a really awesome um, set. Uh, but it is also a difficult build so nothing like an awesome looking set with a nice challenging build with really awesome characters a cool looking turtle and a really cool exclusive way of lego making this work so that is really awesome now some of the other things i forgot to show you is um you have these kind of things at the top you have this antenna all the way up and then on the back you have these uh, kind of like chrome spinners right here and all of this fun detail going around. Now, something you may have spotted is on below, there is a special printed tile right here. It's one of those upside-down tiles. Um, there's only one of them, but it's exclusive to this set only. It's kind of like the engine's burning, uh, which is a really cool detail. I'm sure a lot of people will actually utilize that in other uh, mocks or whatever they want to use it for. Um, so, it is really cool. Um, a lot of awesome detail to this set and as you can see it's basically the size of my hand so again it isn't as big as you might think it is but at the same time the detail the quality what you get for this set is you know, 35 bucks this is like the best deal I've seen Lego ever put out a quality set two exclusive minifigures a cool turtle it's awesome that's 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 really what I have to say about this set it's really that cool. I mean, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, but gosh, this is a cool set. Um, so anyhow, finishing off, I just want to point out to everybody that uh, you get an extra uh, green backpack. And you do get a lot of extra parts because it uses quite small parts to build it. Um, here's the instruction manual. It's, uh, so it's, it's pretty much just like the Ghostbusters and uh, Back to the Future manual, uh, where it's kind of like binded... Uh, that camera will focus like that and uh, just want to show the first page which is there is Pete and that is the actual Lego designer these two so he works for Lego he was the original um, Kuzo creator who submitted the idea uh, of the set um, so he and him worked together to make this which doesn't really happen with these Kuzo sets usually Lego just take their own route and do their own thing but nope 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 Lego was really cool about this and actually invited uh, a non-Lego employee to come in and help build this set so it's just perfect for all of us fans. That is awesome. And that shows real dedication. That's a real tribute, honestly. Um, so that's that's really cool. Um, note on the back, it has a Lego figure instead of the screaming kid. Um, so, yeah. Really, really cool set. 35 bucks Now, the last thing about this set is it's sold out everywhere. If you want one, um, more or less you got to go to eBay, and if you get lucky, you, you might see it pop up on Amazon or something like that. But at the moment, guys, this is extremely hard to get. It's sold out in one day. Literally, one day. Sold out. So, And I was lucky enough to get four of them. I have four, um, including this one. So that's uh, three brand new still in the box and one here. And... Uh, I might be just giving one out, so you have to check out that other video then. Anyhow, guys, uh, let's finish up with the box. Here it is. It's actually, comparing it to the exosuit, it's about almost the same size of it. It's a small box. It's it's like the same size as the um, um, kind of like Anakin's, you know, comparing the sets this year, like the Anakin's Jedi Starfighter set, it's kind of like the same thing. General Grievous wheel bike, kind of that same size. Um, but yeah, that's the front. It's got this cool logo. I really like that logo for some reason. It says Exosuit. On the back, it's just got some more details and whatnot. There's Pete and Eve. And, uh, you know, right there, more details on the 
It's one of those cool Cuzo sets that you have to lift up this binding and it opens up to this. So that's cool. I always, I don't know. That's kind of a cool thing about this box. Um, yeah, so that's really cool. Last thing I want to show you, going back into the manual. Um, here is what a bunch of exosuits kind of look like combined. So, my suggestion, if you ever do see it pop up, get as many as you can. Because having an army of these dudes would be awesome. Um, also, because of all the articulation, stop motion is definitely a possible thing with this set. I'm a, certainly going to try to attempt to make a stop motion with this set against another set. Kind of have like a exosuit versus exosuit and uh, maybe a Benny versus Pete here. What do you guys think about that idea? So, it's in the works. Um, so, this set has a lot of, lot of coolness to it. Definitely. Really cool. So... You know, I told you at the beginning of the video, guys, this is a set to get, and I'm going to tell you again, get this freaking set. I'm telling you right now, Star Wars fan, whatever, if you're just a fan of Lego, you got to have this set. I don't care what your reasoning is. I don't want to hear, oh, this set doesn't look cool. It is cool. Trust me. It is worth it in every way. Now, those of you, a lot of people who follow my channel are big Star Wars fans, and I'm going to tell you, this is so awesome for Star Wars. This is so cool to have. Um, so I absolutely recommend that you have this. This would be a really cool thing to put in like your Star Wars base or something like that. Um, I'm most certainly going to try to include it in my Kashyyyk series. So really cool, awesome set. I can't say any more than just get it when it gets available. It's extremely rare to get at the moment. I hear that they're making more, more of them. They have confirmed that they're not just sold out right now. There is more on the way. So that's really cool. So I'm sure it'll pop up in the next couple weeks, maybe months. So just be ready for that. Follow Lego blogs like FBTB, Brickset, um, The Brick Fan. All of those are great sites to keep updated if you really want to uh, get this set. Um, but yeah, and then uh, Lego stores are also a source, but those are kind of sketchy. So you got to call the store before you get there. That's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching this review. Please give this video a big thumbs up, not for me, but for Peter, who made this awesome set, who submitted it. By the way, I was actually one of the 10,000 to vote for this set, so that's another cool thing um, that I really appreciate about the set, is I was one of the cool people who actually got this made. So I feel kind of accomplished for getting something like this made, and that's really cool. So again, give a big thumbs up to Pete and his wife Eve for being a part of this set, and you know, give a big thumbs up for Lego. You know, they actually really came through with this set, and that's really cool, because uh, this entire year, we haven't really had the greatest Lego sets. We have some pretty good ones come out this year, but this, by far, as small as it is, but as detailed as it is, and as quality level it has, this is probably my favorite set of from Lego this year. I think, yeah, and I think I have to say that, is this is my favorite Lego set of this year. Out of all the Star Wars sets I've built, out of uh, the Ghostbuster set and all of that, this is definitely my favorite. And that's really saying something, guys. Really is. Get this set, guys. I promise you won't regret it. This is an awesome set. All right, guys. Thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more awesome reviews like this. I promise I'm going to bring the coolest reviews for you guys. And I got a whole bunch of other awesome videos coming. So definitely stay subscribed. If you haven't already subscribed, the button's down there. Click it. That's going to be it, guys. My name is David. Hope you enjoyed this review. Get the exosuit, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye-bye. <laughs>